You know, you could buy a house in your early 20s, right? Of course, you would need to use your parents as a co-signer, but it can be done. And as all of us know, buying homes, buying real estate builds wealth. So the earlier you start, the earlier you can get on that path of building wealth for yourself and your family. To find out how, listen on, and welcome to another edition of the Ask Ella Show. This, my friends, is your safe space. This is where we get to talk about stuff about real estate and mortgages that not very many people will share as freely as I do, where you can ask questions that will not be considered as dumb or as out of this world, because frankly, it's a safe space. It's just ask. You don't know what you don't know, and that's what I'm here for, is to answer the questions you don't know the answers to. So let's roll and let's talk about buying a home in your early 20s, and yes, it can be done by having your parents help co-sign for you. Consider this, you're in your early 20s or getting there, just like my kids are, going off to school, going to colleges in different states and different cities. Life on campus is hella expensive. Let's get real, right? We all have student loans. I paid mine off a few years back and dang, that was the best day of my life when I signed that last check and I'm sure you will feel the same when the time comes for you. But going to school on its face, paying tuition is no walk in the park, and then paying for the living expenses while living at school is a whole other conversation. As a matter of fact, some people don't realize how expensive living on campus or in campus housing can get. It can get actually as, if not more, expensive than your actual tuition. I don't know if you knew that, but there is a little fact, and actually that's what's going on with one of my kids right now. A better way to go than paying the housing on top of tuition would be for you, my friends, to start looking for a home that, frankly, you could just share rent rooms to your friends, just like you would in a college housing apartment or housing that belongs to the university or college. Of course, you may not have the full income to be actually able to qualify for the mortgage. If your parents are in a position to co-sign for you, that becomes the best thing of all worlds. They can co-sign for you. It is still considered to be owner-occupied home. It requires a minimum down payment of roughly 3% if we're talking conventional. And like I said, you can live there and have your friends live there, but pay your room rent. And that is literally the absolute best of all worlds. You can start building equity in the home that you own with your parents. Your parents are building equity with you. And when you're done living there and you move on, the property can be sold and everybody realizes a profit because frankly, the only two times the real estate values have gone down were during the great crash of 2007 through 2010 and in the 1980s during the oil and gas crisis. In the rest of the recessions that have been documented over the last 100 years, the housing prices actually continue to grow. So housing bubble, housing schmubble. Frankly, I'm not of that mind and hope you're not either. So after living in something like that for two, three, four years, depending how long it takes you to get through schooling, you could actually walk away with a chunk of change and use that for the down payment on your next home where you may not need your family to co-sign for you anymore because you should have graduated and you should have a profession and therefore a job. Food for thought. So that is something that can be done and does get done on a daily basis. If you're looking for a professional to handle your mortgage for your home purchase, whether it's your home to live in, an investment property, or a vacation home, look no further. I would love to take you by the hand and guide you through the process. The consultation costs nothing. Here is the calendar link for you. And if you want to, here is my phone number. This is a place where you get blunt answers, no sugar coating, and I will take you literally by your hand from the beginning of the transaction to the very end. There's an alternate solution where actually parents could buy the house for you, still in your early 20s, whatever, while you're at school. Yes, it would be a second home, potentially, and yes, potentially would be a minimum of 10% down, but it's another option for all parties to win-win to avoid paying the crazy high 
housing expenses while away at college. So again, think about that, share it with your family, share it with your parents, and we can always talk in more detail if you'd like in private without fleshing it out in front of the whole world. Comment below, tell me what you think, and I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, remember, this Ask Ella Show is your safe space. Ask your questions, and I will give you my answers absolutely bluntly, with no frills, and we'll see you in the next one.